Hi, I'm Miss Linda. Welcome to my art class. Today's class is going to be a little zen-like. It's going to be a place that you can go for quiet, creative time. You're going to build on something. You're going to move it outward. And when you're finished, you're going to be so happy and proud of yourself. This type of artwork, we're going to be using a white pencil and black paper. It actually makes your brain think a little differently when it's opposite. Trust me, it, it makes it much easier. When we begin this, we're going to start small. And you're going to go in different directions. And you're going to use different thicknesses, all using curved organic lines. When you look inside of a shell and you see that radiating circle, when you look inside of a flower when it opens and you see the center and the petals actually radiate out, when you toss a rock in a pond and the ripples come rippling out, that is the type of artwork we're going to be doing this. So you're going to start in the center. You're going to grow outward from that center. You're going to use different size lines. And once we begin our lesson, you'll see how it's going to be that place that you want to go. I promised you that we were going to do some radiating line type art. I made a little ball of yarn here and it actually looks like, I don't know, an acorn. Could be a pine cone. It's a good way to start thinking about where this can bring you. And then I found this sweet little ball of twine. It is just so sweet. And I decided to draw it right here. It looks very similar. I looked at it straight down. So you're looking at it almost the way I'm looking at it. And then I was like, well, that's not really very interesting in its own way. It is a good exercise. And I started just making organic lines. And this reminds me of a ball of yarn, and yet it also has its own characters. Have you ever seen a ball of uh, rubber bands? Similar, like inside of a golf ball. They're all wound up like this. So this is one of my ideas. And then I thought, well, let's go big. Let's start in the center and move our way out. And this actually reminds me both of a flower and also the weaving on a basket. And I'm like, let's do it that way. Let's just start with a blank piece of paper. You can do the yarn anytime you like because it was an original idea. Grab some more black paper. Again, couple of pieces to keep that little cushion going for you. So I'm going to put these away and I'm going to decide which one I want to use. They both have a really good point. Start in the center and you're just going to make little curly organic curved. So there's three of our lessons right there that we've already learned all of these things. Leave some space in between. Like I always say with color and anything else, once you put it there, it's hard to get it off. It's always easier to add to it. This is starting to look like a rose. So I'm going to change directions. Start going in the same direction. Turn my paper opposite direction. Now I can feel that this is a little wobbly, which means it's broken. Let's see. Yep, it is. Switch which is why you have a pencil sharpener and an extra pencil just in case so you don't lose that train of thought or that little bit of action that you've got going i'm going to try see how you're starting to see almost like a cylinder in through here you'll create these lines with or the design, pardon me, the design without even trying. Oh, these are kind of radiating out now. There we go. There's about eight different types of lines here. They are all organic. They are all curved. I believe if you start small in the middle and start expanding, making them longer on the outside, your beautiful picture is going to start to develop all on its own. This is really cool it almost looks like like how you've seen pictures of like a cloud blowing wind see again miss linda she sees something in everything and that's what i'd like your mind to start doing is 
look at it. See what it looks like. Turn it one side, then the other side. Whatever you see developing, you can either work and expand on it, or you can just let, you know, what happens going to happen. Turn it. These are all the same size, so I need to change that up. It becomes boring, and actually it, it starts to look like a pine cone right here on the bottom. We'll do pine cones with pencils, regular pencils. It's one of my uh, drawing lessons that you'll see on the website. All right. Thicker, thinner space. The space is pretty even and balanced. I always talk about the negative space being as important as the positive, and it is. So this looks like it's going this way. So I'm going to go with that flow. I'm going to pull these longer. Now you saw I, my pencil slipped. I didn't worry about it. I just made it thicker, and I'll make the one next to it thicker. You need to never, ever worry about mistakes. Kind of figure out where you can take it to make it into just another part of your artwork. All right. Now, I could do this all day long. This is a very good exercise if you just want to sit down and you just don't want to think about a lot of things and you want to just relax and chill out. It's been a long day. You've been doing online school all day. Your mom's been helping you, your auntie, your grandma, whoever's helping you. Maybe you all could just sit down, get your white pencils out, breathe, put on some really nice music. And I generally play music, and someday we'll get a playlist out to you because I have some favorites that I would love to share. All right, you can see what's happening here. It's starting to grow outwards. This is not quite to the point. I actually started making leaves here. I don't know if I did that deliberately or if it just started. I can do this. Let's see what happens. So what I'm going to do now is start creating the outer edges of it. This size paper is a good size to start out with. This is big and it, the shape of it, because it's not a square, will kind of throw your mind off a little bit. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't lend itself to something in a, in a square package, so to speak. So here we are. This is where I am. This was my first idea, a ball of yarn. This was my second, just bring those rating lines. These almost look braided through here. You're going to see that the more you look into something that you draw, the more you're going to see shapes. It's almost like looking at clouds outside. You just see shapes. And this one is my favorite because, and I probably could finish it up a little bit here because it looks a little unfinished. The one thing with white pencil I will warn you about, let me get down to this example. You can erase, but it kind of clouds it out. It doesn't actually take it off the paper completely. I was just going to say, watch it do it. You can see there's a little bit of residue or a little bit of shadow left. Don't worry about that. You can either go over it, but I just wanted to let you know you can erase if you want. All right. I am hoping that you have that time to sit down and just chill out and get your white pencil out, get your black paper or your navy blue or your dark red, and just have a moment to see what happens with your hands and then your mind's going to look at it and your eye's going to tell it, whoa, that's amazing. <laughs>